Did I think we were done with individual Ether Revolt previews? Yes, yes I did, but guess what? We most definitely are not done with them. And while the Best of the Rest series covering all the cards in the set is coming this weekend, today, we have some important cards to talk about that you are not going to want to miss. I thought we were done with surprises, we've only just begun. I love the set. Also, our limited edition playmat sale ends in less than 24 hours. You can never get this playmat again after that, and it helps the channel survive. Click the link on the screen if you're interested. This is literally your last chance to grab it. Now with all that said, sit back, relax, and enjoy. We'll begin quickly with a cycle of commons. Ether Inspector, Swooper, Poisoner, Chaser, and Herder. They all have varying powers and toughnesses based on their colors, no surprises there. They all enter the battlefield with 2 energy, and when they attack, you may pay 2 energy. If you do, create a 1-1 servo token. The white inspector comes with vigilance, the blue swooper comes with flying, the black poisoner comes with death touch, nice, the red chaser with first strike, and the green herder comes with nothing, probably because it's a 3-3 and they just hate putting trample on cards apparently. All these are going to be solid plays for limited. Getting the trigger on attack rather than damage is nice, and if you have excess energy you can pump into it making little 1-1s, one cool common cycle. Definitely the power level I'd expect considering the rest of the set so far. The Poisoner and Chaser have me particularly excited. Can't ignore Death Touch and a 2 mana 2 one with First Strike? Not gonna ignore that. Good cycle. Efficient Construction is 4 mana for an enchantment. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, create a 1-1 one -one Thopter token with flying. I mean, I don't care about anything else in the world right now. Efficient Construction was designed for Brea. Honestly, it had to have been. Is there a better card to throw into that deck? It's like the stars are aligning for Brea right now. What an absurd synergy with this card. Make Thopters, sack Thopters, make Thopters, sack Thopters. Genius commander card. Might fly under the radar, but it should not. It's very powerful in an artifact-based commander strategy. Just real good. Metallic Rebuke is 3 mana for an instant with Improvise. Counter target spell unless its controller pays 3. Welp. Looks like this is as close to mana leak as we're gonna get. Stick this in a deck with Baral and you can get 1 mana cost leaks all day every day. I know it's a common and most people are going to overlook it, but a part of me seriously wants to make this thing work. With clues, easy counter, servos, easy counter, and modern affinity even, real easy counter. Not that affinity can even make room for this, but the idea is fun nonetheless. Again, I know it's just a common, but does anyone else get the feeling that the power level on this is a bit higher than common quality? I'm weirdly hopeful. Which never happens with counter spells, because they usually all just suck, but color me intrigued. Herald of Anguish is 5 of anything and 2 black for a 5-5 five, five demon with improvise and flying. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent discards a card. You can also pay 2 mana and sacrifice an artifact to give target creature minus 2 minus 2 until end of turn. Okay, this might end up being the most bomb card in all of limited for Aether Revolt, holy crap. 7 mana, with the ability to shrink that, for a 5-5 five, five flyer is already decent, and you force discard on your end step, and it comes with removal if you have artifacts, which you probably use to pay for this. What an imposing figure. This is a card to look out for in draft or seal. Do you want something that'll pull you to a color? The Herald of Anguish might just be one of those cards. But hey, guess what? Not only is this a bomb unlimited, but oh yeah, yeah, Brea, again. This is another bomb card for the Brea deck. It'll be easy as pie to cast, and it will take down everything. Honestly, did Brea win some contest I'm not aware of? It's just a crazy strong card. Wow. Midnight Entourage is two of anything and two black for a 3-3 Aetherborn Rogue. Other Aetherborn you control get plus one plus one. Whenever the Entourage or another Aetherborn you control dies, you draw a card and you lose one life. I absolutely did not expect an Aetherborn Lord. Wow, this is out of left field as far as I'm concerned. Now don't get me wrong, I love me some Aetherborn. I really do. A lot, actually. But let's take a look at the top tier Aetherborn we have to work with for a tribal strategy. From Kaladesh, we have Syndicate Trafficker, strong card. Contraband Kingpin, powerful as long as we build the rest of the deck with artifacts in mind. And Gonti, Lord of Luxury. The problem here is that Gonti fights with our Lord for the 4-drop slot, and we really don't want this kind of battle at that mana cost. From Aether Revolt, we have the gifted Aetherborn Huge Bomb, Vengeful Rebel could be playable for sure, and we have Yeheni itself. So there's a nice core here between the two sets, and if you add Metallic Mimic to the party, we just need a lot of artifacts to round this out. 
some control cards to play the disruption game. I don't know. I don't hate this, actually. I'll add it to the list of decks I need to build. This could be really interesting. Karizev Skyship Raider is two mana for a 1-3 legendary creature, human pirate with first strike and menace. Another pirate? Yes, right. Okay. Whenever she attacks, create a legendary 2-1 red monkey token named Ragavan that's tapped and attacking. Exile the token at the end of combat. Wait. Wait. Stop the presses. We have a pirate who summons a monkey? Not only that, but the monkey has its own legendary monkey token. I'm going to buy 68 cases of the set. I want to line my bedroom with legendary monkey tokens. Possibly the best card in the set from a pure awesomeness perspective. Having first strike and menace is going to be terrible to deal with. Especially when you're running her an aggressive red deck with pump spell combat tricks and a monkey with a bad attitude. I love everything about Kari Zev. Everything. Monkey token. Legendary monkey token. You know what? I'll play mono red aggro if I can play with this pirate. That's how you turn me. I'll do it. This is fantastic. Kari Zev's expertise is one of anything and two red for a sorcery. Gain control of target creature or vehicle until end of turn. Untap it. It gains haste until end of turn. You may cast a card with converted mana cost two or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. We've seen active treason effects a million different times, and this one has me really excited. It is double red, so it's a bit restrictive, but not only do you get a creature or vehicle until end of turn, you get a free spell cast, and you're in a red deck, so what, like 80% of your deck is going to be two mana or less? This is a great way to push through extra damage for the wind by deleting a blocker, and you get a free cast for a pump spell. This is a game ender in an aggressive red based deck. Even something like Red Black might be able to make this work if it changes up its style a little bit. I think this expertise is one of the more practical, bringing a time-tested ability to the table. I'd watch out for this one in Standard. This was a shorter video than usual, but that's because we just had to talk about monkeys and Aetherborn and demons and everything. How do you feel about our new Pirate Monkey Overlord? Do you think Aetherborn Tribal could be a thing? Do you want me to try and make it a thing? Let me know what you're thinking and we'll talk about it. Also, be sure to tune in this weekend and early next week for our Best of the Rest series, where we talk about the rest of the cards in Ether Revolt not spoiled individually. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This video is brought to you in part by TCGPlayer.com. I need to get my hands on some legendary monkey tokens. I just have to. I need them so bad. If you're still waiting to pre-order Ether Revolt, TCG Player has boxes for $92 each. Cheaper than most anywhere, so quickly, if you want to pre-order at a great price, click the links, it helps the channel. Happiness for everyone, enjoy.